Hey, it's Silver Dollar, and this is Star Break. All right, yeah, this is my third Star Break video, so things are looking up. I haven't done a third video on a on the same game in quite a long time, so I can't remember what the last one was. Maybe Realm? Maybe it's only been Realm? I don't know. Anyway, so this is a good sign. I said for a while I've been, you know, meaning to do sort of a series on Star Break. And it's definitely a game that I'd like to get into, you know, playing a little bit more regularly. So yeah, hopefully this is, you know, sort of the start of things. I haven't played it, you know, in a little bit. Overwatch has sort of been taken over my life, like everyone else's life at the moment. But you know, once that all dies down and I realize I'm not going to ever get any better at Overwatch, uh, I'll kind of settle into a little bit different game long term and yeah I think it'll be probably star break at least for a while so yeah this this run I sort of cut together here this is basically uh, the first time I really started playing star break where I actually you know was committed to not dying and to start building up my character because of course it's a permadeath game it's really unforgiving um, I mean you have quite a bit of health but at the same time you just you know you don't want to escape you can't escape quick either like every time you need to leave a level you got to wait I think 10 seconds so you got to be safe so if you wait too long you know you're gonna end up dying and yeah it's pretty punishing so this I just sped that first pit up this is the first time I think I killed this stupid boss I think I've seen him die before but I'd say this is the first time that I actually personally killed him I think I guess I ended up soloing it because everyone else left that's what I find so far in this game I mean I'm not I'm not good at this game. I'm assuming all the better players are doing harder dungeons and stuff. I'm doing like the early ones. But yeah, I find I start out with a whole bunch of people and then by the time we get to the end, uh, it ends up just being me and like maybe one other, one or two other people. And I tend to try and play a little bit more cautiously so I sort of hang on for a little bit longer. But yeah, we'll see. So the first one that you saw there, that was Fire Forest. That's like the very first easy, easy, easy level or easy zone they call them. Uh, this one is Fungus Cave, and this is the second of the zones. I think there are nine zones. So it's actually like a pretty large game. I, I didn't realize that bit, it was that big. I thought there was only like, I don't know, five or six or something zones. But yeah, nine zones. This little bastard right here, I think his name is Mouth Man or something. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's actually got one of the cooler animations in the game. I hope they kind of put more characters in that got like crazy animations like that and are nice and like large. I'm all about the large enemies in this game. So yeah, these guys are like, I died all the time from this boss. It's like, come on, do it. Yeah, so I, I lead the pack. <laughs> I lead us to our death, basically. I just like, in permadeath games, like, you know, when you don't have a lot invested, you can at least encourage other people to die. So I figured that's, you know, I can do my, do my part. Yeah, this is uh, the boss of the Fungus Cave, and yeah, it's kind of cool. It's going. It's one of the, I don't know, weirder bosses. I think all these tentacles come from the left and right, and then once you do enough damage, um, a much larger version comes up from the bottom. And as you can see, we're doing absolutely terrible. I don't think anyone's, I guess they're sort of hitting them. I'm not, they, they, these guys take tons of damage, so. And yeah, I'm like getting hit there a little bit. I think, you know, this is the type of game where it really helps if you can roll around with a carry. You know, if you got someone just pulling you through the game, that that's key. So I'll be calling on, you know, a few people soon, hopefully. Hopefully I can ride on their coattails to uh, success in Starbreak. But yeah, so I decided I gotta, I gotta piece out of here. And hopefully the stupid worm thing doesn't get me as I'm trying to escape. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, okay, whew. It's like such relief when you see your, uh, you know, 70s decorated mod condo there, which I think is your, your safe harbor. Yeah, all right, so this time we're gonna go back into Fungus Cave and we're gonna do it. We are gonna make sure stuff happens. And I feel good about it because we got a good little crew going on here. Those are my stats. So I've actually been pumping a whole bunch of stuff into this character. Basically, the way Starbreak works, as you're playing the game, um, all the enemies drop these like little power-ups. So not all the time, but quite frequently. Like, you know, you do a dungeon run and you'll get maybe, I don't know, five or 10 of these things. 
and each little power up gives you like a, a one point boost so you know one more health i think or you know one more whatever your other stats are i think there's like armor attack health all your regular regular stuff i really i'm sorry <laughs> my my knowledge of the game is very limited this is like the authentic new player experience on this game so I'm just like cutting cutting parts out of this dungeon because I'm so slow at like picking up items and like switching stuff. So here's like the crew I'm with is destroying this mouth man on the top left there. And I'm just like trying to figure out what pants to wear or whatever <laughs> armor that is. Um, yeah, it takes, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. I'm also using a controller, which I think, you know, this controller is essential for this game, but I'm also very slow, you know, a little bit with the controller and switching, moving stuff around. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm always like lagging behind a little bit in this game, but hopefully I can actually, I'm slowly learning to keep up. You got these like little booster things too, which you can kind of like hit and jump further or move further along. Sorry if there's like a little bit of lag in the video. I'll try and chop that out, but it might stick around. I'm not sure what was going on. This game's, I'm playing in Chrome. I think that's how most people play. I don't know if people play in projector or not. I'll have to kind of look into that. I've been playing just like regular straight up full screen Chrome browser, which, you know, seems to be running well. And then sometimes, I mean, the game's also on Steam. So I flip flop a little bit between the Steam and the Chrome. I can't remember if I was playing on Steam or Chrome here. I think I've been doing both, but yeah, I'll have to see which one legs. Legs less, that's kind of a cool gun. Yeah, you get these guns that like bounce around and stuff. I still, I haven't really seen like a totally decked out player yet. So that's what I'm kind of curious about seeing. All right, this is another small group. So yeah, those guys take a lot of damage, sheesh. All right, they got a decent amount of loot though sticking around the game. Um, I never bother showing the loot at the moment because one, I don't actually know what the good loot is. And two, I just figure, I don't know what's up. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so I fast forward, all my friends have left me. And I just learned a really important thing about this game is that the stupid monsters respawn. So this guy respawned and I'm trying to get by him because I can't take him out myself. So I'm like, all right, freedom. The whole level respawns, like not just one dude. So now I'm stuck between Mouth Man and then all the other enemies we just killed to get out of this friggin' place. And I'm sitting on my like amazing character. So I'm like, okay, we gotta get the, we gotta get the hell out of here. So anyways, I'm cruising down, clock's counting down. Are you, no, 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 no. Oh crap, serious? Are you freaking serious? Yeah, that was it. That was the end of my run. So that was like my first, that was like my first, you know, really rage experience in Starbreak. Really, really annoying. I felt like I invested so much. Each one of those stupid little check boxes is like a thing I picked up. I lost all my loot. I turned into this stupid little sprite. And it's just like, send you back with no body. They send you home in a friggin' box. You're like a puff of smoke and then, but okay, the only consolation is I unlocked a new character, which is probably overdue because I've died like 20 times and not unlocked that character. But the character looks like they kind of suck. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Anyways, this will, uh, yeah, hopefully be the start of the series. Though. I'll try and like go through all the characters and work my way up to all these dungeons. I think there's nine zones, but then there's also like seven elite versions of certain zones. So I think there's a lot of like scalability, I guess in this game. I don't know if you call that, but a lot of depth, a lot of, uh, sounds like there's a decent amount of end game. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So hopefully I will see you guys in game. Yeah, hit me up. S L V R D L L R.